Nikki Shaw. I'm the set and costume designer for the festival production of Madame Butterfly. I think you can always revisit iconic operas and for me, Madame Butterfly's music, Puccini, it's gloriously lush. You can just dive into it and he sweeps you up um, and takes you to these wonderful places. We wanted to be very upfront uh, with the truth of this story, which is that a young girl is being sold and bought by somebody for his own pleasure, uh, with no heed to her feelings, her needs and desires. It's set in Japan and we've absolutely adhered to uh, kimonos uh, for many of the characters, but not all. Uh, we've updated it to the 1950s. We're in a post-World War II world, um, but as we started looking at inspiration and images, very interesting to see Japanese society very quickly taking on Western styles and costumes. And so we have our servants in uh, Western costumes, um, but the first time we meet uh, Butterfly, we do ha we do see her in a beautiful kimono. But she has a, a costume journey and progression, and doesn't stay traditional all the way through. Uh, I think it's quite hard when you're working with other cultures not to stereotype it. You want it to be real, but what we think of as real in our minds and what is actually real can sometimes be two different things. I think what makes this a Glyndebourne production is that the quality of workmanship and the quality of work that's put on here um, is exceptional, absolutely world class. So for me as the designer, of course you want the singers to be wonderful and they are world class singers here, but the quality of workmanship that goes into every level of what's seen on stage is very exciting.